Well, joining me now to discuss those calls for a COVID inquiry and other developments this week are a panel of Senate members from Labour, Hugh Aranka Davis, Darren Miller from the Conservatives and Plaid Cymru's Rhys Abowen. Uh, thank you very much to the three of you for joining us. Bora da. Um, I'll start with um, you, Hugh. This week, the Institute of Welsh Affairs have said that we need a separate Welsh COVID inquiry because that's the only way of ensuring that it goes into the sufficient detail to get those answers. They've got a point, do they? I understand their argument, but I'm not sure I entirely agree. And we've seen Hugh Pennant and Professor Hugh Pennant and say within the last 24 hours that actually the joined up, the interconnectedness, as it was referred to in your piece, of the UK-wide uh, approach to the pandemic is important to look at because of its interconnectedness. But we have to have that focus on Wales. We really do need to hear from the people who've been affected, the people who are grieving, the people who have lost family members and friends through this. Uh, but we also need to hear from the experts in Wales and there needs to be a real world specific focus. Now, we know that uh, the First Minister, Mark Drakeford, has written, I think, uh, within the last week uh, to the Duchy of Lancaster, to, uh, to the UK government to say we need specific Welsh focus, we need specific Welsh resource, we need evidence to be heard in Wales of the people who are affected by it and the experts within Wales, and we need that commitment. Now, that makes a UK inquiry work properly and well-resourced. The other thing Hugh Pennington uh, pointed out, which is pertinent, by the way, to Sam and to others, who've lost loved ones during this pandemic, who want to know the answers, is that he said a Welsh inquiry also does not have the same powers to demand people come in front of it, to actually give evidence as well. Now, that is a pertinent point. It's not the be-all and end-all. But I think we have to see that response from the UK government to say, will they give us the resource, the focus on Wales, uh, that it goes right through the whole document, but also separate sections on Wales, so we can really get the answers for Sam and other people. But we're talking here about potentially a chapter in a UK-wide inquiry, a chapter on Wales. I mean, there's just no way that that's going to go into the same level of detail that a, that a Welsh-specific inquiry would No, I honestly think that's the wrong way to look at it. And this is Professor Hugh Pennington and the uh, Confederation uh, in Wales have said exactly the same. It's not simply a Welsh chapter. This cannot be simply a chapter, a footnote, a little section to say, and that's Wales. So you expect this, this UK-wide inquiry this, to look this, at yes. what happened across the UK Absolutely. and in detail in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. This is going to be a, Absolutely. a pretty so Wales, weighty inquiry, isn't it? So Wales needs to be driven throughout every chapter of every inquiry because of the interconnectedness of this across the UK that there needs to be specific reference as well to Wales within this. And, you know, Mark Rayford has made clear that he wants those answers from the UK government to say that they will do this because that's the way we get a proper inquiry for the people who've lost loved ones. Okay.